Hey, what is up, YouTube? Today's video is going to be a Galaxy S3 review. Later on, me and my friend are going to make a Galaxy S3 versus iPhone 5 video. But this review was done by my awesome tech reviewer, Thomas A. Messon. I'll make sure to leave the link to his um, YouTube channel in the description below. So, thanks for watching, and I hope you guys enjoy this. What is up guys, this is Thomas A. Messon, and today I'm going to review the Samsung Galaxy S3. I had this phone for a while, let's see if it's still the best phone out. Now today I'm going to be reviewing it, and then in a later video I'm going to do a collab video with my good friend Techmaster2208, so check him out, I'll have a link in the description. So first we're going to look over the overall design. <laughs> okay, so... Uh, we're going to look over the overall design of the phone, uh, everything that you need to know about the phone, how to use it, you know, just the, all the buttons and uh, little things that you need to know. So here is the phone. Uh, this is the Pebble Blue version. You can also get it in white, red, and black. The black version actually looks really cool. Uh, I have the Verizon model. It's the SCH i535, and uh, the screen is really shiny. Just looks really cool. Uh, but let's get to it. First of all, we're going to look over to the uh, left of the phone. It is the volume rocker. So here it is. It's on the left side, and uh, you know it's nothing too special. Just the volume rocker. I do like the uh, streak of blue all the way down the phone. It makes it look really nice, and. Uh, you get nice solid loud clicks when you press on the volume rocker which I do like uh, it's very high quality uh, design on this phone on the bottom we have the USB um, connector it is a mini type USB I do find that when you charge the phone it charges it really fast and I'm saying an hour and your phone is fully charged um, it's just a very fast there was the microphone and to the right of the phone you have the power button and it has a little nice little power logo and uh, you have another blue streak going all the way down the phone uh, it's a very shiny phone uh, very glossy uh, it actually doesn't collect too much fingerprints actually as you can see there's really no fingerprints at all on the back or the front on the top we have our 3.5 millimeter head jack for uh, you know headphones we have the mic there and then we have a little slot to take off the back um, part I'll show you that in a little bit and uh, we have a we have our little flash here and it, I do find that it is better and brighter than the iPhone 5 which is pretty good and then we have our 8 megapixel camera shoots 1080p video and stunning uh, pictures uh, just about the same as the iPhone 5 um, going over to the right we have our speaker it is on the back but uh, it still produces really loud clear audio and then we have our little Verizon 4G LTE logo. It's engraved onto the back. And then we have our uh, Galaxy S3 logo, which is also engraved. The back plate looks just beautiful. Uh, very nice design. The phone is extremely light, lighter than the iPhone 5, uh, but it is mostly made out of plastic. It is also very skinny. Not as skinny as the iPhone 5, but. Uh, first let's look over the how to tear off the little back piece and it's very easy I'm going to show you right here it's located on the top as you can see and all you want to do is just dig your fingernail and just tear it off uh, it's on there pretty well um, it's also designed so when you drop the phone uh, the back piece pops off and somehow that you know saves your phone but here is the battery you get about a full day uh, with 30% left, which is pretty good, uh, not the best. I find that the iPhone 5 has better battery life. Uh, you have the SIM card and the mini type SD card. It can fit up to 64 gigabytes, which is really good. The phone alone has 16 gigabytes. Uh, you can also get the 32 gigabyte model. So snapping it all on, you have to make sure that you f hear all the solid clicks. And now let's just boot up the phone. It takes really fast. And uh, yeah, so all you have to do is hold it down until you feel the phone vibrate. And you get that little Samsung you know, logo, Samsung Galaxy S3. I do find that the phone takes really, really fast to boot up. So that was the overall you know, hardware and you know, overview on the phone. You also have your 1.9 megapixel camera with two sensors and your LED flash that uh you know blinks when you have a message or when someone calls you. you also have a little speaker grill on the bottom you have your home button menu button and back button 
and the phone is fully booted up took really fast I'm saying you know anywhere between 30 and 40 seconds so the phone is really fast you know project butter gives it no lag I'm running Android 4 well, let's see we're running uh, Jelly Bean 4.1.1 as you can see there so next we're going to look into the phone and see the difference between Android and you know iOS so to activate the phone all you have to do is swipe and you're in the phone and you know the brightness is all the way up now and as you can see there's really no lag at all you'll get sometimes just a little bit of lag but after that you will never find any lag and that's really just when you boot up the phone or when you turn it on um, so you have the widgets here and uh, you have the all the apps this is the app drawer and uh, I have a lot of apps it also comes with a lot of apps and then when you hit that button it goes to the recently downloaded apps just in case if you can't find any I do really like widgets uh, you know you can place them anywhere on your screen unlike the iPhone 5 you don't have any widgets you just have apps uh, so that's one reason why I like Android a lot because you know you can just hold down and you know place apps wherever you want here's an alarm so if you want to set alarms uh, it's that easy you tap and you can you know remove it um, so here is you know just the uh, just to show you project butter that there is no lag you can also you know move apps move widgets whatever you know it's very customizable I do like how Android you know you can customize it in any way you want unlike iOS you know you can't really change too much um, you can also resize the actual widgets to make it bigger you know I have my email here so if I want to go straight into my email I just click it and I'm straight in so it's just really easy to use um, I find that you know the older you are the harder it is to use this kind of stuff so if you're older uh, this isn't really the phone for you because there, it's there's so many things you can do and it's kind of confusing that's where iOS is good or Apple they make everything really easy so there's a notification bar like I said and that's for if you get an email or whatever uh, now let's go into the camera uh, the cameras are basically the same between the iPhone 5 and the Samsung you know they're both really good they're both 8 megapixels and uh, the reason why I like the Samsung camera better is because there's, you have way more options and settings you can control everything to color correction to uh, you know how many megapixels you want to just autofocus single shot burst shot whatever uh, it's all here you can make a different color corrections um, you can also do this with when you make videos so you can make your videos look really cool you have your HDR um, you have smile there's just so many different things um, you can have flash turn on off obviously now I'm just gonna pull up the music and here is the music uh, right now I'm gonna swipe it but it doesn't work because you know you're not really supposed to take a screenshot of music but um to screenshot all you have to do is just swipe your hand across and it actually takes a screenshot how does it work I have no idea uh, I think it's really cool uh, to activate your screenshot you put on the notification tray and you can look at all your screenshots I think it's a really helpful easy way to you know just do a screenshot um, so opening up my messages here uh, really cool features if you're you know messaging someone you hold up to your ear it automatically calls them I have no idea how it works but um, it works so it as you can see it's calling someone all I did was hold it up to my ear and it automatically called someone and I think that's amazing you know the features on this phone are just incredible to go to motion all you do is go to your settings uh, go to motion and you know just read them activate them and uh, it shows it tells you how to use it and I think it's just really cool uh, you can hold down an app and when you tilt the phone it moves as, it moves all the pages um, also that's really cool there's a lot of different things you can do with this phone that you can't do in the iPhone so now I'm just gonna show you a little bit of gameplay um, and we're just going to go to subway surfer and uh, you know it's not the most graphic intense game but it just shows you how it can run you know there's no lag no lag at all it's it runs any game you know really good uh, if you know what Nova 7 is um, hopefully that's the right game uh, Nova 7 it's a, uh, a war game kinda looks like Halo it runs it perfectly runs dead trigger perfectly that's a zombie game the screen on this phone is really you know amazing it is a OLED display which means when there's a black pixel 
uh, the pixel does not light up at all. So you get a true black, uh, it's a true black color. It just doesn't light up. And what that does is it saves battery plus it makes your blacks look that much better. Uh, so here is Subway Surfers just to show you that there is no lag. You know, it runs the game perfectly. Uh, it's really good. So the Samsung Galaxy S3 is a very good gaming device. Uh, it also is just all around a great phone. I really do like it. Compa uh, my brother has the iPhone 5. You know, I've used it a, a couple of times. And, uh, you know, they're, they're basically the same exact phone. Just, just one's Android, one's Apple. They're both really fast. They're both you know good at what they do and all around it's just a great phone so if you're really trying to figure out which phone is better iPhone 5 or Samsung Galaxy S3 you have to ask yourself do you like a phone that gives you a lot of features that is you know customizable kinda hard to use or that is the Samsung or do you like a really simple phone that's fast and just you know all around very, very simple uh, that will be the iPhone 5 so that's all you have to ask yourself right now I'm gonna you know show you the speakers on this phone the only bad thing about the speaker is it is on the back, so when you cover it... Uh, it so what, that wasn't the best test to show you because you are listening... Uh, to this video through a speaker so it's impossible to hear how good the speakers are but they are very good you know if you're playing the phone in a car everyone will be able to hear it fine uh, so that is the full review on the Samsung Galaxy S3 yes I missed a ton of stuff I'm very sorry I'll probably add it in the description um, but this is also a Samsung versus the iPhone 5 so if you guys like this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe okay see you next time